Yo, yo, yo guys, what up, Viper here, and well, today was the first day of Ganyu Banner, and um, I don't even know how to say, what to say, but it, I, I love Ganyu. Now, Ganyu, Ganyu, Ganyu is super fun to play, and it actually seems so much better than I expected. I, I have to be honest, I kind of expected Ganyu to be okay as a character. Now, after, I mean, this is like after what, like the first eight hours, the first day of playing her, she seems super, super good. And I don't know, this is like my first impressions kind of video on this and my, I don't know, day one Ganyu limited testing, trying out stuff. So what is my opinion? Ganyu is super, super good. I, I don't know, I, we, we literally one shot a Ruin Guard, like I don't know, like the simple Viridison Shred Bandit Q, one charge attack is literally a one shot to a Ruin Guard. It is a 140k crit right now, or like if both attacks combine. So, but yeah. It's like this is like my day one Ganyu testing, right? We we tested her with Skyward Harp. We can test Amos Boat tomorrow. I, I can farm the um, upgrade materials for Amos Boat tomorrow, get Amos Boat to level 90, and we compare that. Uh, have been using mainly four piece Wanderers. Tried out four piece Cryo Set so far. Four piece Cryo Set felt good, but it felt like dealing a lot less damage than just going the Wanderers mate team comp rather than like a full freeze team comp. But I mean, it's just like one day of testing, one more things to be done. So far, um, you, you see, I have C6 Ganyu. I have, you have C6 Ganyu, I have C6 Ganyu here. Um, ended up rolling for that. I also, because people like actually ask me about like rolling and videos for that, gonna gonna be like, uh, there's gonna be a video of just like the summary of like the emotional ups and downs of that. How, I mean, there were there was some emotional ups and downs, but yeah, C6 Ganyu, I'm going to wait to use those constellations for probably a week. And I'm going to keep testing out everything about Ganyu because it, she is a hell of a lot fun to play and really, really good character and just feels a lot better than expected. Her Q, the Celestial Shower, I, don't know, I was like, how many ice shots are there going to be? And uh, how is it going to... Uh, it, it just like rains down these ice shots and... I don't know, it just like keeps draining down these ice shots. It does it does a lot of damage, and the targeting is also not completely random. The targeting is trying to hit opponents in that like area, so it does a lot of damage. It is not cryo zinku, at least from what I can tell so far. It doesn't like enable every Deluke auto attack, every Kli auto attack, everything they do to be melted. So yeah, it's like not on the level of like a zinku Q in terms of cryo application. It's this super, super high damage output uh, ult, especially in a melt comp, right? Especially if you want to like utilize uh, that, which even if she is the one doing the melt, right? Like the cryo on pyro, did a still extra damage, right? It, it just is a lot of damage. Her Q does a lot of damage. And yeah, I don't know. Her E is very, very smooth, I have to say. The, wait, wait, can I just, we just go, we just go here. And here you see, like the E is super smooth. You just hit E, dashes back, and it just like feels really, really good to use. It is very, it feels way better to use than like a Mona E, especially with the dash back, because I don't know, you just like hit it and then you move, away, move away. So that ability feels really, really good. It doesn't feel like useless, like the Amber Bunny, like people said, it's like Cryo Amber. No, she she really is not Cryo Amber. She feels uh, super, super good, super, super powerful to be honest. And like I said. I am going to keep testing her. Actually, I'm really, really sad that I, I never got a good Elemental Mastery Wanderers piece here. Never got a good crit damage uh, mask for Wanderers. So, cannot test the EM sense on this now, but I will get there. I, I'm going I'm to keep farming and at some point either get the good mask or the EM sense. I'm pretty sure that especially if you do the Vaporize team, EM sense is just better. And yeah, looking at weapons, tested Skyward Top, tomorrow we're gonna test Amos Bow. But this is only looking at like main DPS uh, Ganyu. Also for main DPS Ganyu, team comp kind of stuff, which after like one day of testing, um, I kind of want to say it feels super, super similar to running Chiat team comps. Because Chiat Hydro, Amber, Cryo, right? What are the reactions you want to do with them? Um, or they can they can both freeze or they can use melt slash vaporize. And okay, I mean superconduct or electrocharge, yeah, I don't know. They superconduct physical, we don't have physical DPS, electrocharge really does some damage, but not that much. So kinda wanna look at um 
I'm gonna look at Eva freezing to outplaying game mechanics, kind of right. I mean, if you freeze the opponent, they don't attack you. That is kind of making the fight easy. So in that regard, Ganyu plus Zinkyu plus like another Cryo on your team plus a healer, which is then like Bennett or Jean preferably, right? Or Chi Chi and then like uh, some other sub DPS. So you have the two Cryos, right? Sure, whatever. That comp felt good. It, it it like felt really really good to play because at that point you I mean I I'm gonna get like a lot of gameplay footage and showcase all the the comps and so on over the next few days but it's just like it's it's really late but I kind of want to get like my first thoughts on this out right but so if you do the zinc you thing you do like a charge attack auto attack then charge attack auto attack right. That is like how it works with Zinkyu because your charge attack doesn't apply to Zinkyu stuff, the Zinkyu swords. So you do this and then you have one auto attack and then you charge up again. And you just freeze the other guy with the Zinkyu swords in between all the time. So the other guy is perma frozen and you do a lot of damage on the perma frozen target. Right. But it does less damage than utilizing like Bennett channeling mid kind of comp because mating this is literally one shotting a rune gut. Like my, my current gear mating this with two two point four K attack and two hundred fourteen percent crit damage, two sixty two EM and using Skyward Hub, not Armor's Bow. We're gonna use Armor's Bow tomorrow. Gonna gonna test that out. Because Armor's Bow has normal and charge shot damage extra, right? Like this is the, the weapon to use on charge shot characters kinda. So that is literally gonna overkill Rune God, I'm pretty sure. Testing that out tomorrow. Set it on the fifth time now. But uh, no, I mean, that is, that is kind of like, as main DPS build, I'm pretty sure you want to opt for the mid, for the vapor, uh, for the mid elemental mastery stuff, because using elemental mastery also feels really, really good because that gives you easy access to good artifacts. It is easier to get good artifacts if crit rate, crit damage, attack percent, and elemental mastery are good stats, right? That increase your damage. If you don't have elemental mastery, you only have three potential stats to increase your damage. Feels kind of bad. Energy recharge, obviously, always good. Her Q, super, super good. Way, way better than I expected. But yeah, you, you want to, I don't know, if you utilize the mental mastery, makes it easier to grind good artifacts, in my opinion. So if you can do that in team comps, seems just better. And that makes her very similar to Chai, like I said before. Because just going for the Bennett channeling Ganyu that enables you to mate whatever you want to melt. It's just a consistent pyro application due to channeling. Channeling Bennett do a lot of damage and then you want to slot in a support like you wanted to slot in in child team which again I made, made it like a big guide video about child which took me like way longer than I wanted it to take me because I just did so much testing and recording and everything for that and yeah, I don't know then it was like so short out before the ban Ganyu banner. Kind of sad about that but yeah it's uh, at that point, you just add another sub DPS. I'm pretty sure. I think Zinkyu is a lot worse compared to the Chai team because it's charged shots. It's not like the quick auto attacks to apply all the Zinkyu Qs. I think if you want to do main DPS Ganyu, you're probably gonna be going Bennett Shining Ganyu plus one, and that plus one is again a Nemo character, Chong Yang Mona, in my opinion. Those are those are like the best. Obviously, you can just run like something else. Can just run official or anything else you want to play right that is it's just like a flex plus one if you want to do a abyss and you need an element to kill a shield go for that right um i think current abyss chongyang feels good because claymore user and claymore's help breaking these uh these big annoying rock geo shield thingies right so especially in current abyss i think chongyang would be a good fit also would give you the two cryo resonance which just is like nice to have right another resonance another passive damage buff and Ganyu Q, if you look at like Chongya, da 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 da, is one. Celestia so Shower grants 20% cryo damage bonus to active party members in the AoE. So that's 20% damage to Chongya. I feel like that, that's like a good good composition, good team. That is like my day one idea of this. Obviously, I'm going to test a lot more. And especially looking at Ganyu support, because her Q feels so, so powerful, I think Ganyu support has huge potential, especially in like a team comp like um gene venti ganyu plus pyro dps plus d look or clee because then you just like have the cryo swords and not her q alone but like cryo sword plus her q will help you to vaporize all the the pyro stuff maybe maybe not i have to test that right 
And we can also test like a stringless build because her Q does a lot of damage. It is only, there are only these like small hits, but it's so, so many of them. It's, it's literally an infinite icicles coming down all the time. So maybe even a stringless build, especially if you pair it with Pyro so that you're the one that is melting the, the cryo on Pyro melt which is less effective, but it's still effective. And especially with Stringless and Mental Mastery, does so, so much more damage. So there's so much more to test. There's so much stuff I'm hyped for. I'm hyped for trying out. I'm hyped for doing. Um, I don't know. Like I feel like the last two banner characters, Albedo and Zhongli, they did not have me as hyped about anything like Ganyu. I think Albedo had me super hyped on day one testing him. He felt super smooth and nice, but that was like about it. Like he gives me my my little geo damage proc and he has like a cool Q and then he has the defense percent stuff and he was nice and cool and everything but you got your fits like I can do so much with her I can build so many team comps around her I can utilize her in so many potential ways as like really really good support both in like a meta way of playing the game as well as in I just like to play my charge shot bow character right charge shot bow characters kind of did not feel that good so far um I mean I'm I don't know, I've been kind of like main playing child, right? And at some point we have to use the, the charge shot and child because E has a cooldown or whatever the situation. So I kind of like that. I like the aiming at people thing and headshot 100% crit rate kind of thing. But Ganyu, Ganyu feels really, really good and it feels really, really strong. Like I said, have C6 Ganyu. I'm going to be testing a week or even longer for C0 so that I can have like good opinions and ideas about what to do at C0, what, what like your team comps can be, what you can do. And I just want to like, I don't know, give you guys some good, cool content about this because I, I don't know, I'm, I'm just so, so hyped for Ganyu. Like this, this character has me so hyped and into the game again compared to what Zhongli and Albedo had, honestly. It's, I'm not saying I don't like Zhongli and Albedo. I really, really like them. They are really cool, but they didn't get me as hyped about the game and team comps and everything as Ganyu did. Well, and uh, this is like my, my day one impression and my my day one, I I really, really like Ganyu kind of feeling here. And yeah, I don't know. I hope this was like somewhat interesting to you. And yeah, uh, if, if you want to know more about like Ganyu team comps, like I said, I think it's going to be very, very similar to Child if you want to do main DPS Ganyu. So check out the Child um, artifact team comp video. I mean, not gonna look at the artifacts. Artifacts is gonna be four piece wanderers, most likely. 99% sure if you wanted to charge shot attack build, because yeah, 35% bonus damage and elemental mastery. If you wanna melt, how do you top that? Right? Like you don't. Very easy. And yeah, again, check out the team comp thing with child if you wanna know more about that. Unless next few days, weeks, uh, well, probably days, not weeks, are gonna make more of like Ganyu main DPS, Ganyu support options, different weapon choices, different artifact choices, probably, especially for support, we're gonna have the artifact choices due to Cryo set being interesting, Noblesse set being interesting, and like all the two piece options, right? So stay tuned, stay hyped. I'm very, very hyped for this, and I hope I see all of you guys soon.